So, is anybody in here interested in what that preamp is that's in the, the guitar and why it plugs straight in? Josh, do you have a second? Can you come up here? So, this is Josh Flooring. Josh is the one that said we could get this thing to sound this good. He's the one that actually makes the preamps. And you mind if I interview you? Is that okay? The thing is, Josh owns a company called JCF Audio. So, when you first heard the acoustic guitars and you thought you could do the preamp, what, what is the whole basic thing behind this preamp and why does it sound like it does? Uh, well, you just want to do something simple uh, and kind of get the, the instrument already sounded incredible by itself. So the uh, the pickup, the actual element of the pickup was chosen uh, by you guys, and uh, you tasked me with coming up with an amplifier that could allow this uh, this sort of weak uh, pickup. The signal that comes off of it is very weak and it has to be able to feed a cord and get to an amplifier and other electronics and so forth. So I had to come up with something that was. Uh, elegant and uh, not involved, you know, something that uh, lets the music get from the instrument down the chord without adding a bunch of crap that doesn't need to be there. So uh, yeah, we, it just came up, uh, I, I came up with something um, that was kind of reminiscent of, uh, you, you make reference to uh, Ampex electronics and so forth, it was a, a three transistor uh, a little preamp module that did the job really well and didn't have any extra stuff. and put the curves in and we're, and we're done. And it, it was incredible. And I, I think the first time I heard it was when you, when you were playing, I was like, good God. <laughs> <laughs> you just plug it in and it's finished. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty impressive. So there's only three transistors in it, right? So there's almost no circuitry. It's almost a wire. He's, he's, and it's running on two nine volt batteries. And the other thing, it's almost line level coming out of this thing. This is not instrument level. This is, this is, uh, really hot, right, in yeah. terms of its amplitude coming out of here? Yeah, we got 18 volts to work with. It, that was that was part of the beauty of it, too. I, I actually never heard of uh, anyone using two 9 volts at that point in that style, and you were like, oh, we have two 9 volts to work with, and I'm like, great, all sorts of power, and I just have to not mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he did a great job. This is Josh yeah. Florian, everybody. He did a beautiful job. <laughs> so, wait a minute, we're not going to Josh also made the preamp in Gary's bass. And that was a different ball game because you had all kinds of EQ to put in, right? So you went yeah. after it a little bit differently. Yeah, the pickups are very different. I mean, you're talking about a wound coil of wire and large magnets and uh, similar power requirements, but uh, the instrument is completely different. So it took, a, took some finagling to get it right. But uh, the, uh, it, it's kind of a similar story. Uh, the first time that I heard it, um, somebody had just yeah, after we got it done, it plugged it in, and you kept telling me, oh, it sounds so amazing, it sounds amazing. I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's a, yeah, it sounds amazing. And then I, I think Kevin just played one note. Oh, and everyone standing around it just went. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I was, I was really blown away by it, yeah. So these things are flat from what? Almost DC to 50K or something, these yeah, preamps? Well, it, there's a little bit of a curve in it for, um, for the body, um, but uh, going up out to, to going up in frequency, it's flat out to uh, well above one megahertz, and then we had to we had to knock it down at some point because it was going to be a really nice you know RF amplifier too. So <laughs> we have to stop somewhere. So yeah, there's a curve at the top and a little bit of curve at the bottom. Anyway, so there you go. By the way, all the bass players that have plugged this preamp in are just flipping out about it because it's so the bass is so clear, right? And it's and it's thundering bass, but it's not muddy in any way. It's the same thing with we were what what got us with this when we put the preamp in. It was all the sub coming out of the guitar, and you put a volume control on how much sub on the preamp, and we had it turned down. And the more and more we played with, it, we just kept turning. But they're all the way up now. So um, we got a call from Claire Brothers about how to amplify these things at concert volume. And what they ended up doing was taking some of the bass out of the floor monitors and putting it out of phase. And when they did that, the feedback went away and they just and the guy on stage could feel all the bass from from the PA, right? And it, it was an ear blistering volume. And we just haven't had we it took a while to learn how to use this thing because the top wants to start vibrating. Especially if you got a floor monitor in front of you, but it's been going really well. Anyway, so that's Tony McManus and Josh Florian and Gary Granger, everybody. Thank you very much.